Hello everyone, my name is Ajaj Patel and you are watching Ajaj Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 20 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with video. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully edit the terms. So in this tutorial, we are going to use the delete button to deleting particular terms if user needed or instructor needed. Okay. So, uh, I'm on the same page, function.php here, we are going to uh, see view all term, here, 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 just look at this now, all are set, everything is set now here, del term, okay, tid is coming from here, so we are simply going to change this one from here to del term, and here, we are going to also change this one to term, okay, delete from term and then term deleted successfully and here also we are going to use terms terms and here terms deleted successfully and here also change the name with the TID okay so now I think as this is uh, perfect so refresh it try to delete that term just when I click on this delete so just look at here term delete it successfully when I click on ok so just, uh, so just look at this now the terms is deleted now okay I'm going to use again student Click on this one, edit. Just look at this now. Now edit. When I click on this delete, delete it. Perfectly working. Perfectly working. Delete it. Okay. So now what our next target is contact us page. Okay. Just because I have uh, cleared the history for that reason. This will be happening. Okay, man. Okay. Add at the uh, gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight nine. What a man, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. not from here, not from here. Yeah, 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 from there, from there. Localhost e learning admin. Ajaz, Ajaz, at the red gmail dot com one two three four five six seven eight nine. Okay, so let's see the contact us page. Okay, this this page is too big, too big, too big, too big. Okay, so this is the contact us page which will be displayed from. I'm going to show you from where this pages exist. Just look at this now. This, uh, these all are Facebook, Twitter, Google. So that will be coming from here, here, from here. So this will be coming from there. Okay. Also the contact number, email address, and address. So that all are coming from here. So let's count one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So let's come back here and create a one uh, table here with the contact nine. So we are going to use here ten. Go see uh, con ID. Then let's see what will be the next email. email email after that email 
address one so we are going to use add one add two then uh, youtube so youtube channel name yt fb gp fb mean facebook gp mean google plus then pw means twitter pw means twitter and l for linkedin link for linkedin so what's the missing one two yeah, yeah, yeah contact number is missing contact number is missing so we are going to use here p h n which means which means phone so let's define the where care where care where care also here where care all are will be where care okay where care and this is text okay so 10 email is 100 address is 100 second address is 100 yt is uh, 20 fb is 20 gp is 20 this is also a 20 20 and phone number will be 12 okay so auto increment primary key save this page okay so our contact page is saved so in next tutorial we are going to working on that uh, this link contact us page so we'll design like this one so just look at here already we have this information so we are going to directly add that uh, with the insert so let's try to add that one directly with the insert tag so first of all my contact number is here so 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 so, so come back here phone number is here email is uh, this one this one address let's uh, try to copy the address from here control c control v second line address control c control v dot okay then the yt adjust portal wave from yt here fb let's copy web app hub copy this one paste it from here for gp adjust portal wave for GP also we are going to use as a portal web as a portal 19 Twitter we are going to paste a Twitter ID here last one is the LinkedIn I'm going to copy this one from here paste that one from here why we insert this is from here just because this is the one time inserted record and every time when the admin need to update so it will be update from here it doesn't allow to delete here just because if we delete if admin delete it from here so it will be doesn't display it from here and this info this information are mandatory for that reason we are not using to delete here we are going to directly add we also doesn't allow to add user again that uh, value from here okay so for that reason we are going to directly insert that one from here so if user uh, admin want to update that one so admin will be directly update with the save button from here okay so in next tutorial we are going to display this uh, edit form from our main website from here and we will update it with the directly dynamically so guys i think this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below don't forget to subscribe the channel and see you in next tutorial stay connected with me stay tuned thanks a lot for watching goodbye